Fans will gather tonight to celebrate a success-filled season for the Iowa women's basketball team. The Hawkeyes won the Big Ten tournament title and finished with a school record 34 victories. The team also got to the NCAA championship game for the second year in a row. We're about two hours away from a pep rally tonight at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Doors open within the hour. KCRG TV 9's Jim Mertens joins us live from Iowa City. Jim, what's the atmosphere like there? Well, they're just starting to line up to get through the doors because, like you said, we're about two hours away, and there's some people who wouldn't have missed this for the world, and they're at the beginning of the line. The first person in the line is actually from Western Iowa who said there was no way she was going to miss this. No way. And same with this young lady here from Solon. It is Michelle Holm. You're wearing the 22. You couldn't be more proud of this season. Uh, absolutely. It was a wonderful season. I'm, I'm basically a new fan, so, yeah, it's been a really great uh, to come to some of the games and just to follow the team and everything. Well, and I think for a lot of people, they, they feel it's really important to say thank you to this team that really put Iowa on the map for all the right yeah. reasons. They did. They really did. I think this is the beginning of something really special. I mean, the, the year was great, but, you know, everything that's gone on, I think the, the women's basketball is going to flourish. That is great. Yeah. Michelle's third in line. Get back there. Don't let them take your spot, spot in line, okay? <laughs> all right, won't. real quick. <laughs> Two people who don't ever have to stand in line are joining me right now just back from uh, Cleveland. It's Chelsea Brown and Scott Sable. Tremendous job out there. What a great team to follow this year. Yeah, it's been a blast. It's been a privilege for both of us. And we were on the road, what, for six months? No, six, <laughs> six, <laughs> no two weeks. But boy, it was, it was a lot of fun to watch everything behind the scenes and to see all of the Iowa fans who will be here tonight travel with this team all year long. You're right. You saw them on the road. You saw them through the tournament. It's just been fantastic to see and we saw how many people showed up, thousands, to the Pentecost celebration last year. I would expect the same turnout here today. Yeah, it's kind of nice because they'll get to hear the players all talk. But at the same time, the players will get to thank the fans for everything that they've done. Right. We're expecting to hear from coach, head coach Lisa Bluter as well as all the seniors. And last year, I think it was a little bit of fun. Caitlin kind of took the mic and just went off, you know, tried to get the <laughs> crowd pumped up. I think this one has the chance in making to kind of be a little bit more sentimental as they kind of say goodbye. Yeah. Hey, there'll be a few tears. I would think. You think so? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I had a chance to talk to Lisa as she was going in. I said, have you had a chance to rest at all? She said, no, I won't for a week and a half because she's headed to the Wooden Awards and then she's headed to the draft. Right, on Monday already, which is why they had to have this today because, I mean, Caitlin's got somewhere to be on Monday. What are you looking forward to the most? Just seeing the fans and seeing the reaction from, I think, the team and just how many people continue to show up for them. I mean, behind us, there's already a sign that says, change the game. And I think that is kind of the perfect theme to the season. Yeah, they had a chance, a lot of fans, to stand in front and take pictures with the sign over there. Jim, uh, I think it's going to be a fun night. Well, in so many ways, this team has been a family, and the yeah. fans just want to be a part of that extended family. I mean, you could just really feel it. Did you feel it in Cleveland with the Iowa fans there? Oh, yeah, I did. I, I think they feel a part of the family, and they're so proud to be from Iowa. This team made them so proud to be from this state, and really, I mean, put them on the map. Our live coverage is just beginning, Danielle. Of course, we'll have more continuing coverage right here at 4, as well as at 5, and special coverage at 6, 6 o'clock as well. But for now, right back to you in the studio. Another exciting night in Iowa City. Thank you. And that pep rally starts tonight at 6 again at Carver Hawkeye Arena. We will be streaming it live on KCRG.com, the KCRG News app, and our streaming apps on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV.